Hola! Happy Friday the 13th! Even superstition. Do you think you had bad luck or do you think it's just whatever? Me? Well, let's just say I started my day getting in a fight at the Trader Joe's parking lot. Now, if you saw my Snapchat this morning or even on Twitter, um, I post my Snapchat on there. You kind of know what went on, but I thought, you know what? Why not just come on here on YouTube and just talk about it? The other day I was talking to my YouTube manager, Dells, shout out Dells, and he was just bringing up how I should come up with different little series. And nothing makes me happier than making people laugh, but more importantly, people that really know me. So uh, kind of going back to um, when it was, a, what was it? my hot challenge. If you go and watch my hot challenge, if you haven't already, you should check it out after this video. It, I explained the whole thing with like the um, rebel TNA match and I talk about how I said in the match my vag, why I said it and um, why it was important to me. So go check it out if you haven't. I was just like, you know, this, I gotta stay true to myself and I want to continue to make people who I've been friends with, people who I continue to be friends with, people who I've been coworkers with, just people who know me. So I thought, why not have my little story time kind of things be called, here's the thing. Why here's the thing? Well, let me tell you, here's the thing. <laughs> Among my peers, coworkers, friends um, of yesteryear and current, people know that I often start things by saying, here's the thing. So back in my good old TNA days, I had some friends that I was really tight with and they always knew that there might be trouble a brewing if they see me, especially if I had a couple drinks and I'm talking to somebody and then I'm like this, this is how it'd be. They'd be talking to me, but I'd be looking up and then when they're done talking, I'd look at them and go, here's the thing. Now the reason why nine times out of 10 that meant maybe I can get into some trouble is <clears throat> whoever's talking to me, I'm registering what they're saying. So I'm really focused on what they're saying. I'm like, okay, and I'm absorbing it. So that's why I like look up. I don't mean to, it just like happens. And when people are usually in that kind of vibe with me, it's, it's a, uh, some kind of confrontation happening, you know? So I'm taking in the information and instead of just being like, well, you know what, F you, da 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 I just be like, here's the thing. And then I would be able to handle situations better. People will give me a hard time and be like, here's the thing. Because it's not always when I politely tell people off. And I say it like that because uh, actually SoCal Val had told me and people before that I'm a person that... I can tell somebody off and they want to give me a hug afterwards because I never tell anyone off uh, to be ugly or mean or spiteful. It's just to be like enough's enough like today. I had to go take Metal Jesus to work. Um, you know, I was kind of like my morning started off in a little bumpy ride. That's for sure. Fred Mertz peed the bed this morning, just a little part, and it was only on like the blanket, so it didn't get on the bed, thank goodness. And he gets really needy in his old age. And a lot of times he demands that I hold him like all night, like, ooh, even doing that right now, my shoulder hurts because I'm usually like this with him and he won't settle and tell that. And I do it because I kind of feel like, oh my goodness, what if he's scared or something? He's so old, you know? Like, what if this is his, like, he needs this, right? So I do it. Well, after I got all the pee blankets off, I had to give him like a little mini bath because it was just like on his leg. So I cleaned his leg um, and then I kind of just like dried him as much as I could. Now the good thing about the Mertz is they have really short hair, so they dry pretty fast. So I thought, you know what? It's four in the morning. I'm just going to wrap him up and then put him in the bed and then like in an hour I'll wake up. So Fred wasn't having that. He wanted to be held and I couldn't because then I was gonna get all wet. <sighs> Not like wet, wet, but damp, you know what I mean? So I was like, you know what, fine. I guess I'm just up. So I just got up and I just started like working and like just doing some stuff, um, getting my mind right. So it was already like a little bit of a rough start to the day. And then um, I had a little bit of a miscommunication this morning with somebody 
and that was kind of like ugh, no one likes miscommunications you know so we had to clear that up so there was some energy there then it wasn't too bad driving today it is raining here in socal so um i was just like dude you know it i'm just gonna deal with this traffic but it wasn't that bad it was a couple jerks out there just driving unsafely so i was like you know what I really need to get a couple things at Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's before I go home and uh, you know, I'll just do my thing and then I'll have some food for breakfast, and blah, blah, blah. I go to Trader Joe's. Now, if you know Trader Joe's, it's already a disaster in that parking lot, right? I'm just like, okay, it's pretty early for all this, but whatever, I guess like, and you know, it's Trader Joe's, that's how it is. I'm just like listening to music and I'm just like singing and just being, trying to be patient, waiting my turn because it's like a parking lot in the parking lot. <laughs> and um, so I see this, this is, this is my story, okay? This is my point of view, okay? I'm sitting there in my car and before I pulled into Trader Joe's, my car did something weird. Now I drive a stick and when I put it into first, it like sounded weird, which really sucks. Cause I just got my car back, like not too long ago out of the shop. And I was like, that's weird. So when I was in the parking lot, like waiting to like find a spot or whatever, I noticed that my car was like kind of overheating. So I was like, oh great. So the only way I can keep the temperature down was to put my foot on the brake and then put my foot on the pedal and just like let it rev until like I had to move and then I put it in first and then move an inch. <laughs> so that's what I was doing. I was like, okay, no big deal. There was a good song on. So I was just like, okay, do, 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 just monitoring it. And I noticed this guy next to me walking past me and I'm like, okay, like if the car in front of me, because the car in front of me was waiting for a parking spot it was they had their blinker on right so what was going on and this is what was causing a big problem in like the part of the parking lot I was at instead of people waiting to let the person out so then the person in front of me can go park in they kept going around so by them going around that car waiting they were holding up the car to pull out so that guy can get in there and then they're going the opposite direction of traffic. So now you're messing up traffic going this way. So I kept watching people do this and I said, look, this is already a mess here. I'm just gonna wait, like, oh well. Like, as long as my car is all right and I got it, that, that pedal and that brake, I'm good. So I was waiting and then as I was waiting, this guy, like I said, was walking past me and I was like, okay, if this car moves forward, I need to make sure not to hit him. Like, uh, you know, cause I was nervous cause I have like my pedal, the gas going and then like the brake and ah, I just don't want to accidentally mess up and like hit the guy. So that's when I realized when he passed my car, right? So he's in between the car in front of me and my car walking in between. I noticed that he's going into the spot that's next to the one that the car in front of me is waiting for. Are you with me here? Just to recap, in case you're a little confused, <clears throat> I didn't want to hit this fellow, so I was very aware of him. So I was watching him cross in front of me, which he was in between the car in front of me and my car. And he was going to his car, which was next to the spot that the car in front of me was waiting for. So I said, oh, there's my little gift from the universe there, you know, gift from the universe for being patient. So I put my blinker on and I was like, awesome. I'm just gonna wait and then I'll go in. <clears throat> so then the car in front of me gets into their spot. And um, once they do that, this car that's coming this way puts their blinker on. I had already been waiting. Now, granted, I'm not saying that I looked and then they put it on. <clears throat> I didn't see it before, but in my defense, there's no way that that guy that was putting the blinker on knew that that spot was open yet because when the guy walked past me, he didn't know where he was going to walk to. And then once he was in between my car and the car in front of me, the guy that was put the blinker on he couldn't see where that guy went because of the car in front of me blocking, right? So, in my opinion, 
this is just my opinion when that person i don't think they realized my blinker was on and they were waiting when they saw that guy like backing out they are the uh, i'm sorry the car in front of me park and they saw the other guy get in his car they probably thought that that was their spot i'm not saying that they didn't realize i was there but i'm the only one that saw this happen between me and this guy so i go and i park in there not all crazy just normal and then i'm hearing someone yelling and i'm like is that that guy so he's holding up traffic now and he's just flipping me off and saying f you f you f you and i was like what he's like you asshole so i turned the car off i slammed that door and i went up to him and i walked up to his car and i said what you got something to say you got something to say and he rolls his window up f you f you and then he's like you knew that was my spot and i said no i had my blinker on i watched him go over there i had the spot and then he was just like flipping me off but with his little window up and i went back to the car and i locked it up oh before i walked away i said shame on you and just like that was shame on you <laughs> so i went to the car locked it up and then he was still holding up traffic because <clears throat> there's no one in front of him he even had his blinker on still so while i walked past his car i just looked at him and he starts laughing and i said no shame on you you are an old man and you know better shame on you and i walked away i was hoping that i would bump into him inside that traders now when i went into that traders it was crazy like I guess I've been hearing people talk about it, but I just wasn't thinking. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So there was gnarly lines. So I was hoping, I was like, ooh, there's a good chance I'll bump into him, I am ready. And that's when I said a little prayer and I was like, okay, I'm probably just like a little amped up. It's probably better I don't see him. And then that's when I started thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? I'm really actually proud of myself. I'm proud of myself because you know, I have a huge anger problem and it's something that I've been working on like half of my life. And, you know, I tweeted earlier, some people know me as being super positive and some people think I'm a bitch. And sometimes people think I'm a bitch because they knew me when I was younger and I was very angry. It's interesting, that anger time was when I was actually in WWE. It wasn't because of WWE, it was just that I was young and I had a lot of pain and I didn't even know where it was coming from. I had so many suppressed memories um, that I didn't even know where it was coming from, you know? So it's something that I will forever have to work on and I accept that. And sometimes I get, I was just telling Alexandria Hamilton when I was at Modest Moms on Wednesday, um, we were having lunch after and I was telling her, I was like, yeah, you know, I used to have an anchor problem. She was like, no way. I was like, yeah but I still do, that's the thing, I have to work on it. And I have moments where like, I kind of revert back to that and I don't like the way it makes me feel, I don't like that version of me. And that's when I try to put myself in check. Now, this morning when this happened, it wasn't that feeling, that's why I was proud of myself. Because if it was, especially cause I had like a little bit of a rough morning, I would have flipped him off and said F you back. You know what I mean? But, I didn't even want to say that. Like there was just no need for that. And I was so baffled that this old man thought that he could talk to me that way. I was stern. Now, a lot of people were watching and it was so cool because that Trader Joe's, um, like a lot of Trader Joe's, unfortunately, at least my experience, no offense, is a lot of the times the employees there, not all of them, but some of them are very like um, little, little attitude-y, a little too for, cool for school. I'm not saying all of them. My friend Casey's worked at Trader Joe's forever. She's not like that. I'm just saying, generally speaking, when I go, there's like a good amount of employees that kind of do that. I don't know. Maybe they just do it to me. I don't know. But um, everybody that was at that Trader's that was an employee, they all had their SH together. They all were working as a team. They were all super friendly. Um, the people, the employees that saw it, they were very kind to me about it and they talked to me and they were like, okay, miss, you be careful out there, you know? 
So I thought that was really cool. So I got to see at a place where sometimes I don't even want to go to because I'm like, oh gosh, now I got to deal with these little tooth. And they were actually there for me. And not only that, but me and the separate, like, not even had anything to do with me. I saw how they were like handling that chaos and they were bringing order to their store. And it was so cool. So positive vibes to that Trader Joe's. I was texting with Danielle while I was in line and I was telling her, you know, I'm you would be really proud of me that like it didn't come from a place of wanting to flip them off or wanting to curse them out. It was just a, all right, if you want to come at me like that, like, let's go. Not in a, I'll fight you, but in a, I have no problem explaining to you why I parked there. It's not because I am picking on you, man, because I don't know you. And that's how he was acting, like it was so personal. And I get that, sometimes people react that, that way. I've even done it myself. So it's like, it was crazy that something that wasn't maybe the most ideal situation, it actually challenged me and who I am. And I got to see like, wow, okay, cool. Like, that's so cool that I still stuck up for myself, but I didn't do it in a way where it was like going down to his level, you know what I mean? And the energy wasn't even there. It was just a, you're not gonna talk to me like that. And the thing is, is where I live, there's a lot of, of uh, people around here <laughs> that just think the rules don't apply to them. They just think they can do whatever they want. And I see them treat people like garbage. And the reason why they do is because they're either a celebrity, have some kind of status, or have they're rich for some kind of money, however they get it. So that's just like where I live. And I see these people and they just like, do others like how I was treated today. And what I see a lot, and this is what I was kind of starting to talk about um, on my Instagram or my Snapchat earlier, is what I normally see is when somebody treats somebody the way that guy treated me today the other person either takes the high road, which is great. That's always a good way to deal with a negative situation like that. Just, man, eh, whatever. But more times than not, I see people either shocked or afraid. And like, oh my gosh, like what's happening? And that bothers me. So it's like, dude, I have no problem. I have no problem. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, what's wrong with this guy? I'm gonna say, what's wrong with you? No, and I felt good with that because I'm just, just saying, man, it is really hard being a woman, you know? And how certain people think that they can treat you sometimes because of it. And, I, and I'm sure there's other people out there that can relate and you're not a woman and that's fine, but I am and I'm just here to say it, it's effing hard and I'm really proud of myself for not getting angry, but being protective of my energy and in that moment, you know what I'm saying? I thought, you know what, instead of making, because I was snapping about it, I was like, you know what, why don't I just like do a little video for YouTube? I need the minutes, I need you guys to watch. And then now I get to introduce my new series here on YouTube, which is Here's the thing. Maybe the next here's the thing is another story like this. Maybe it's a story about something else. Maybe it's just me ranting. I don't know, because here's the thing. You never know what's gonna come out of my damn mouth. That's for damn sure. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget, damn camera, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Make sure you watch all my videos because I need those minutes so I can get monetized again. And uh, yeah, until my next video, I'm Shelly from Kelly and I'll be smelling you later. Adios. So I'm getting some gas and I was driving um, to the gas station and I was just thinking about the video I just po or recorded for you guys. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put this at the end. So even though I'm proud of myself for 
not reacting out of like wanting to flip them off and curse them out. It was more like just being like, no dude. I can't help but wonder had I still been stern but not as loud like what if I just walked up to his window knocked on it and said excuse me what did you say that would have been more powerful so next time something like that happens I'm totally gonna do that <laughs>